for those without a home in these temperatures, local groups are preparing to help. KSHB 41 News reporter Megan Abundis is joining us live in Kansas City tonight. Megan, how's it feel now? Guys, still warm and windy out here. We're downtown. Temperature reading 82 degrees from the Commerce Bank sign downtown. Now, these continued high temperatures are throwing the city of Kansas City and community outreach groups into action to try to help the homeless population, especially because they say that population has increased by 20 to 30 percent. Kansas City metro temperatures. It is hot. Spiking to the 90s are cause for concern. It's a really big deal. More people die in the summer than the winter. It is amazing that we are sitting outside and two weeks ago we were in 40 and 50 degree weather. With the change comes the transition from helping the homeless in freezing temps to hot temps. Outreach partners and the city are still working towards solutions. We need housing regardless of heat. Josh Henges. We want safe and healthy. The Casey Mo Houseless Prevention Coordinator says he's determined to find a way to make that happen. It can't be a surprise every season to do this, and that really has to be the focus of the Houseless Task Force as we move forward. He says he needs more helping hands, churches, nonprofits, and volunteers for the city's extreme weather plan. During the winter months, Reverend Randy Fickey was the first church to pair up with the city and open doors. Our first night here, we had 60 cots set up. They were full, and in the heat, he says, there is something you can do. Places for just folks to hang out, get cool, get hot hydrated and kind of move forward. He says while library and community center cooling areas are available, change comes from outreach workers linking people to services and says this isn't just a beginning point of work to do. When we plan for extreme weather, we want that plan to be concurrent and to last more than just a season. We've asked the city what their plan is for the homeless community in the summer months, and they tell me they're still working on that area and they will get back to us. They're still meeting every couple of weeks. Live downtown, Megan Abundis, KSHB 41 News.